This is an overview of the post slider widget for Elementor by Unlimited Elements. Thanks for joining. This is a post slider for Elementor by Unlimited Elements. So I'm going to take you over all of the settings over here. What this does, it just takes uh, all of your posts and generates them into a slider widget. So the first setting is for autoplay. We can set that to true or false and that will change if the slider will play automatically or not. As you can see, I changed it to true and now the slides are transitioning every five seconds. So the second setting is uh, telling the slider how long to transition each slide, how long it will take between each transition. The next setting is animate in and out. This is for the transition. Let's just play around with this. As you can see, there are a lot of options over here. I'm going to do bounce in down and zoom out. So look how cool that is. Bouncing in, zooming out. Super, super cool. You can play around with this to achieve any effect you want. Text alignment. The text alignment, let's uh, just change this to, to be a little bit slower and fade in, fade out. That's the default. Perfect. So the next setting is for text alignment. The text alignment is uh, in comparison to the container over here. So if I'm going to change that to left, it's going to align to the left. We can change the text color inside of here. We can decide to hide the button if we want or show it. We can change the button text, button color, button hover color, radius of the button. For example, if you don't want it to be rounded, I just changed that to zero. Arrow colors are the arrows over here on the right and on the left. So we, ha we can change those colors of the arrow color and arrow hover. And we can change the inner content background. I can even make it transparent by taking the alpha channel down um, as much as I want. Let's bring it up a little bit. Perfect. I think that looks good. Content width is the width in the middle part. So this is max width. So if the device will be smaller, it will adapt to be smaller. But this is the maximum width. We can decide how high our slider is. And we can decide if it's going to be by pixels or by percent. So we can make it 100% if you want it to take the full height of the browser. I'm just going to change this, for example, to 600, which is a little bit higher. And we can turn on and off the title, the date, the intro text. So we can turn on and off uh, almost any part over here. And we can turn on and off the dots. Down here we have a different way of navigation except for the arrows so we can turn that on and off and of course you can determine uh, what's going to be the active color of the dot and the regular color of the dot